Welcome back everybody. It's time for another little mail day. I've had lots of packages waiting around for a few weeks to open up and show you guys what I've been adding to the collection. Some of which I split up and put into my Go-Go's video from last Sunday. If you haven't checked out that one, it's a lot of fun. I'm very happy with how it turned out. So go check that video out. And today we've got a bunch of different things. We've got some Force of Will promo cards again, some new Glaus figures, maybe even some custom stuff and possibly even some magic cards, which I know you guys haven't seen in a while on the channel. So let's open these up and see what we got in and make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more of this content. Okay, just a nice little stack of mail here. We got some envelopes, we got some cards, we got some cool Glio stuff. Let's get these open. Let's check out all the neat little things that I'm adding to the collection. And I do want to start with the envelopes because there's some really cool cards in here. So let's get this one out here. Oh, look at that. A nice brand new Magic the Gathering Merfolk Noble Legendary Creature kind of aimed towards more of a commander deck thing. Yeah, believe it or not, even though I haven't opened up Magic the Gathering in a while, I still play it and I still enjoy my Merfolk deck. So I got this guy in hopes that I should be able to do some kind of a commander deck soon. So I wanted to get him ahead of the curve before he went up in price or anything like that. A really cool card though. What else do we got in here? Let's pull out of this envelope, see what's in here. Ooh, we got a little Pokemon. Did I get Pokemon? Let's see. Oh no, it's Force of Will. Look at that. All right. I'm just going to take this one out because this I hate these top loaders. They're pretty atrocious. And honestly, I'm going to just take it out of this too because these Pokemon sleeves are not good either. You can't see that nice shine that we want to see. So we got the Ancient Library Researcher. A really dope card. A really cool promo from Force of Will. This one's a bit older, but it's kind of retained a nice price and it's just a cool one I've been wanting to add for a while. And is there one more in here? I think there is. There's actually one more card in here that's exceptionally cool if I am remembering my order right. Oh, very cool. It wasn't the one I was thinking of. I forgot about this one. So this is the card you would get with the pre-release box for the most recent set. A new world emerges, a really cool one. We got the Punisher of the Solaris Order. Very, very dope card. And I wasn't able to get my hands on a pre-release this time around. So I definitely wanted to pick up the nice promo card from it uh, while it was still a relatively decent price as well. Such awesome artwork. This artist did a really good job with some of these promos. The Buy Box promo is also by the same artist and pairs nicely with this card as well. So it's a really neat one. We'll do this one next. Let's get these guys out. Ah yes, more magic cards. Pull them out of the bag here and we've got a nice full play set of the Voldalian Hexcatcher. Another new Merfolk Wizard from the Dominary United set. Really, really dope. It's a Flash Merfolk 1-1 one, one, and it's a Lord so it gives all my other Merfolk plus one plus one. And then it has the ability to sack a merfolk and counter a non-creature spell unless they pay an extra one. So a really, really cool card to utilize and just adding a lord to the set, <laughs> another lord to a deck of merfolk is pretty insane. Beautiful card. You know I had to get the nice borderless foils and nonsense. Again, a full play set of these guys, but just taking them out of the sleeve so we can get a nice effect of that awesome borderless foiling. Really, really dope looking card. Artwork is amazing. Can't wait to play with these guys. I think I have a few more cards, but let's open up a Goliath's figure. Oh, I know what this one is. This one is really cool. I cannot wait to see this one in person. Uh, good little, little figure I got off of eBay. Uh, it is a custom painted and built Glios figure along the Armivore line. They really did this box up. They folded it and everything. How am I getting this open? Oh, there we go. All right, let me take a look here. This one is really cool. This artist did a great job with this guy. Oh, he's in a plastic bag. All right, let me get him out. So many things to remove just to get this figure out, but check him out, man. Look at how sick he is. So. I believe the head is from a Robo Force, and you can see they even put on some little decals and numbers that look like they're coming off a little bit, so I'm gonna be extra careful with them. Decals on the shoulders, that's new. Uh, looks like they've got some of the Biomaster new little claw things here. Actually, I think he used some of the, this is originally from Robo Force, so all of this is kind of from the Robo Force, and we've got a nice little, ooh, little translucent piece here on the chest. And then this green and black just looks so, so dope. I love the colors he chose for this guy. 
super cool i can't wait to do these myself uh, i'm still putting off doing custom glio stuff i have a video like halfway filmed that i have yet to finish because i just haven't gotten a chance to get out there and start like spray painting and doing some of these guys but he looks sweet i'm really digging this dude he looks awesome and i got him at a really good price especially for a custom glios uh it was a phenomenal price super cool i will gladly add him to the armivore shelf oh my goodness he looks sick all the little details perfectly balanced in my opinion on these detailings with those greens and blacks really sharp uh what else we got here oh right we've got more things from biomasters actually so let's take this guy out i actually am very sad because i missed the last biomaster drop by an hour and everything was sold out except for this figure and there were some really cool uh figures that some new ones that i really wanted to get i'll show a a picture of it here so you guys can see what i'm talking about really wanted this guy really wanted that figure unfortunately i literally missed it by an hour the drop happened at nine i went on to the store at 10 and everything was sold out except for this guy so it's another one of these like kind of pirate captain dudes he doesn't have the cape this time it's more of like the base colors and tones more for the building aspects but i love the figure design of this guy he's super cool and so i just had to get another one of these to add to the shelf because i'm just loving this this new stuff that biomaster has been putting out so i'm trying to get in contact with him directly to see if he's got any of the other figures i might have missed out on and seeing if he has any spares because i really want to get my hands on one of those nonetheless this guy's a really cool figure i love the blues and greens and the gray is just like asking to be painted and you know just done up on here for the all this gray parts on them i think it would look really sweet to put in some extra details on this one all hand painted i think just going in with the brush or something i think would be easiest for a figure like this keep them simple keep them sweet give some extra shadows look really dope let's get this envelope out of the way here see what's inside this one possibly some more force of will promos because i did get a lot of those in recently oh it's not the force of will it's we cross promos oh my goodness i kind of forgot i ordered these but i saw these promos from we cross and they were just too cool not to get look at this one a keynote bound for the future promo these are all on theme and they just reminded me of these cool alternate arts from like force of will and stuff so i had to get them there's another one we got alt null the open gate she's going toot on her little horn thing whatever but dope dope artwork really really sharp artwork and there should be one more oh yes here we go there it is mc lion standby mode looking super awesome i love love the little comic-y style of these too they're so neat looking so i had to pick them up there was only three for these little promo sets so i figured okay i'll grab them they're they're dope enough i would love to have these in a binder someday and now that day is here because now i have them let's see let's see i forget what's in this one so let's open this one up and find out what we got in here oh i know what this is all right i got an amazing price on this holy cow did i find an amazing price this is a force of will graded card and i only paid 15 dollars for this full graded card let's pull it out here and then i'll go over what the card's actually worth because i basically paid less than what it's actually worth for a graded card bam look at that zero the flashing mage warrior 8.5 near mint awesome looking she's wearing the skirt in this one i've shown it off before but i got this one in a nine mint for the other promo where she's skirtless on this one so i had to get the little companion piece to it and this card is like a 20 25 dollar card right now and like tcg player and everything so i bought a fully graded card for 15 bucks at an 8.5 i couldn't pass it up no one else bid on it i don't know why amazing amazing value on this card i was so happy and it's just nice to have the little companion to the other one i have graded so i got both of them now it's super cool so i'll slide these over there so you can see them together and we'll open up this one this one is more glios this is from cappy space who kind of just like did a drop out of the blue and i like didn't hear anything about it and it was just like bam it's up and there were some really cool figures uh, that i wanted to snag and luckily i did just in time uh, before they started selling out 
on some of these in particular ones. One figure that I got was one that I've been eyeing for a while and I just haven't picked up. So let's see, let's pull all of them out here. First things first, we got our little freebie guys from Cappy Space, always giving out these dudes, really cool dudes. Just the gray ones, nothing too crazy with those. And then we got some Cray Booths, the new Cappy Space Cray Booths. You knew I couldn't miss out on these. So let's get them out here. Let's check out this one first. It's like this construction work, worker orange and yellow vibes on this last uh, little wave that came through. So a really cool one here. I like the other one better, but I had to just pick this one up to do the complete collection basically. But this is the other one. Again, you get the construction worker vibes going from this. It's got like that gray and that yellow, the bright like highlighted yellow. Really, really sweet. Uh, I'm digging it. I like this one a lot. It's really sharp. When there's more colors like this, and Cappy Space usually does a good job with adding more colors to the Cray booths and putting in a couple extra details like that. That's really cool. And even like on the eyebrows and stuff, they don't always do that with like O'Neill. So I'm always really, really pleasantly surprised with Cappy stuff just to put that extra little nice touches on all the Cray booths. And this one sold out like the next day. So luckily I caught it right in time to snag this guy before he went AWOL or lost to the void, I should say. I'm not gonna open up these, but I just got like a little weapons pack. These are from like the moniker uh, line, I believe of Goliaths, so the little weapons pack for them. But I like the weapon stuff, you know, I can use these for other figures and things too. And it just went on brand and it was only like three bucks for just get grabbing these things. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll grab a couple. I'll put them to use at some point, but for now I'll just keep them sealed. And the last figure I got from Cappy is this awesome looking robot. I'm gonna open him up because there's another, and I forget the name, I'll, I'll put a link below of what the name is. There's another creator, Glaus creator, that made these little robot molds, and they're really cool. I wanted one in particular, but it's been sold out for, for ages now, uh, which has bummed me out because it looked like a really cool design. But they're just kind of a neat little, like, stick-figured type robot. Really, really cool. I like this design, too. And again, it looks sharp with the orange and everything, so had to pick it up, had to support the Cappy Space line. Uh, because I'm a big fan of their work. They do some awesome stuff. And they hadn't come out with anything in a while, so it was really neat. It's kind of got like the skeleton type arms or Faden type arms where they just don't have any like bendability, like one arm bent, one arm straight type deal. Uh, legs are just, you know, very up and down, but I think he's going to look good just sitting on a shelf. And you get a couple other heads. You can either do something like this, which that's really clever. I like that it's like the up and down button. So let's flip those out really quick and see how they look. So there you go. You can kind of see what they're going for with the vibe of these robots. It's very cool. And then there's one more head let's get this one on oh, i feel like i'm gonna break these things putting on the it's so fragile and thin i mean look at how thin this one is holy crap it's like a little security camera but man that feels like it's gonna just snap off at any any moment oh oh can it connect like this too oh it can oh it can go like that as well how interesting so you can also put it on like this or you can just flip it around put it back on the way I'm going to keep it because I do like this head design a lot. So that is the other figure from Cappy, which is really dope. I'm, I'm glad I finally got one of these robots. They're pretty neat looking. Uh, what do we got here? We got one more package, which I believe has some more awesome looking cards in it. So let's see it. Ah, this is... Okay, at the beginning I was guessing cards, and this must be the package that has the cards that I was uh, remembering. So let's get it out. If you remember in the last unboxing or last mail day, I had a really awesome Angel promo from Force of Will. That just looked really sweet. Well, I found out there's actually a companion piece that goes along with it, uh, which I didn't know about. I didn't spot it. So luckily, TCG Player had one more of those in stock. So I had to snag it before they sold out of those. How am I opening this? What is going on? So many layers. There's also a few more promos in here too. So... I'll snag those out and then we'll look at that angel one last. Okay, so some new promos, a duet of fire. It had my girl Zero over here, which you guys know I'm a big fan of the character Zero from Force of Will. And the artwork on these just looks really, really sharp and cool. So I had to grab this one. It looked really neat. I forget what promos these are for. I think it's the World Grand Prix or something like that. They were giving these out, but really dope. A duet of water awesome looking card super awesome looking card really really dope i love these two girls too they're so such good characters and i don't want to reveal the last okay so we got the one more a duet of win her and feisting feising i'm never going to get that name right i don't know why 
but again another really dope awesome looking zero card and then what do we got here we got oh okay all right they gave me they, they gave me an extra card this is just triton ember of the seven seas a little promo card nothing it's just from a pre-release uh i might have him already too so that's that's no big deal that was just a freebie but let's check it out but bam angel of false glory and this will go right next to my other one look at how freaking awesome so freaking cool the artwork man it's so good false glory angel Dang, she's got an awesome looking spear. She looks freaking sick. I love the design of these cards. Oh, please hire this artist for more. It's so flipping sweet. I'm so happy I have these two though because I, don't, I haven't really seen them on sale anywhere else other than right here at TCG. So everybody's holding on to these. Only like one person was selling them. So I'm glad I got my hands on this one because it's just such a nice card. Told you it was going to be a simpler video today. That's all we got for now, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the little package opening. If you did, leave a comment down below. Do you want to see more of this content? Let me know. Make sure to subscribe once again. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next video.